video. Hi guys, my name is Keeper Denise here at the Lion Habitat Ranch. Of course, the day is a little bit of a windy day, so my paper's probably gonna fly away from me. So first off, I do just wanna say thank you guys so much for tuning in. Any of you who've been out to visit, thank you so much. That means a lot to us. We are a nonprofit facility, so all of the admissions and everything here goes back into the facility. And if you're able to, we are still operating at limited capacity. So if you're able to throw any donations our way or add us on to Amazon Smile, we are extremely grateful. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started. So today I'm gonna to teach you guys about fish gills. So fish breathe in water. Unlike us, we breathe air. So I'm gonna show you how their gills work. So I have a little container of water right here. And then we're gonna add coffee into the water. Now this coffee is gonna act like the oxygen in the water because fish do need oxygen, but they pull the oxygen from the water rather than the air. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix this up really, really well. So you can see there, that's our oxygen in the water. I put a ton of coffee in there, so there's a ton of oxygen. And then the next thing we're gonna need is an empty container over here and a coffee filter. I'm gonna get a not wet coffee filter. I don't know if that'll make a difference or not. And then we'll also need a rubber band. And this will go over the top of the coffee filter. So that way it doesn't fall in when I pour the coffee on top. We'll make it a little concave so it can collect the oxygen. So this coffee filter is gonna be our fish gills. I'm sorry, the mic seems to be going in and out, guys. I apologize. Let me back up just a little bit. All right. So this coffee filter is gonna be our fish gills. They're very flexible. So fish breathe in the water through their mouth and push it out through their gills. So this is going to be the ocean water going in through their mouth and the water on the outside. Obviously I'm always a mess on these three night safaris. You'll kind of see the water going down very, very, very slowly back into this empty jar here and the coffee filter staying on top. So that's the gills collecting the oxygen. So the reason that fish aren't able to breathe air on land, their gills can't move um, and they can't collect the oxygen from the air because they're very flexible and very flimsy. So they're not able to open and filter out that carbon dioxide. So that's just a really easy experiment how you can see how fish gills work. Look at all of that oxygen our little coffee filter fish has collected. <laughs> so that was just a short experiment for you guys. We do have a lot of activities going on this weekend so we did just have to make this one a really short one. We have Santa and Mrs. Claus here today. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you again for any donations if you're able to come out. We'll see you guys next weekend. Thank you.